In this video we're going to learn about matrix multiplication. If you click in the video's description you can find some exam questions to do after this video. So what is a matrix? A matrix is a set of numbers arranged in a grid format, like this. We put brackets around a matrix to show where it starts and ends. Matrices, which is the plural for matrix, can be any different size, so you could have one like this, or even larger like this. We define the size of a matrix by how many rows and columns it has. So this first matrix here on the left has three rows, and it also has three columns. So we'd say it's a three by three matrix. The next one has two rows, and also two columns, so we'd say it was a two by two matrix. And this last one here has three rows, but five columns, so we'd say it's a three by five matrix. Let's have a look at the key points you need to know for your exams. The first point to learn is you need to be able to multiply a 2x2 two two and a 2x1 matrix by a scalar, a scalar just being a normal number. So if we start with a 2x2 two two matrix, like this, and we'll multiply it by a random scalar, let's say the number 3, all you do is draw a matrix which is the same size, so another 2x2 two two matrix, and you times each of the numbers inside the matrix by the scalar outside. So we'll start by doing 3 times 4 which gets you 12, 3 times 2 which gets you 6, 3 times 0, which is 0, and 3 times negative 3, which is negative 9. It's the same idea with a 2 by 1 matrix, so if we take a 2 by 1 matrix like this, and we'll multiply this one by 5. You do 5 times negative 2, which gets you negative 10, and then 5 times 1, which gets you 5. You also need to know how to multiply a matrix by another matrix. We're going to start by looking at how you multiply a 2 by 2 matrix by a 2 by 1 matrix. So let's take a 2x2 two two matrix, and we'll multiply that by a 2x1 matrix. And you don't need to put a multiplication sign in the middle, you just write them next to each other like this. That means multiplied. Now multiplying matrices can be a bit confusing at first. The more you practice, the easier it will become. What you need to do is identify the rows from the first matrix, and you pair them up with the columns from the second matrix. So we're going to start with the first row from the first matrix, and we're going to match that up with the first column, or well, there is only one column, from the second matrix. The resulting matrix here will be another 2 by one matrix. So what we do is we look at this row and this column that we've highlighted, and we match up the numbers. So the first one here we've got 3, and we're going to match that up with the first one on the second matrix, which is 4. And you multiply these. So 3 times 4 gets you 12. You then do the same thing, but with the second numbers in each. So we've got 4, that's the second number in this row, and 1, that's the second number in this column. You do 4 times 1, which is 4, and you add that on. So we've got 12 from the first multiplication, 4 from the second multiplication, and 12 plus 4 makes 16. You then repeat this process, but this time with the second row. So we've got negative 2, 0, and we match that up with the only column we've got, 4, 1. So we do the first element, so negative 2 times the 4, which gets you negative 8, and then the second element, the 0 here, times the 1, which gets you 0, so we add on 0, which of course gets you negative 8. So the answer is another 2 by 1 matrix, 16, negative 8. Now you also need to be able to multiply a 2 by 2 matrix by another 2 by 2 matrix, and this is where things can get more complicated still. So let's take two 2 by 2 matrices, like this, and the resulting matrix will also be a 2 by 2 matrix. So we start with the first matrix and select the first row, and the second matrix we select the first column. And we'll do just as we did before, so we'll do 1 times 2, which is 2, and then we'll add to that 1 times 0, which is of course 0, and 2 add 0 makes 2. Now this time we'll start with the first row again, but move on to the second column. So we'll do 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1, and then this second one here, times 4, which gets you plus 4. And negative 1 plus 4 gets you 3. We now move on to the second row, so negative 5, 6 here, but go back to the first column. So negative 5 times 2 gets you negative 10, and then 6 times 0 is plus 0. So we end up with negative 10. And finally, we do the second row times the second column, so negative 5 times negative 1, which is a positive 5, and then we add to this 6 times 4, which means add 24, and 5 add 24 is 29. 
So this is your answer. The next thing you need to understand is that in general, matrix multiplication is not commutative. The word commutative concerns the order in which you multiply. So if we take regular multiplication, like 5 times 4 which equals 20, this is commutative because you can change the order, like 4 times 5, and get the same result. Unfortunately this doesn't apply to matrices and I'll show you why now. Let's take two matrices, so matrix A and matrix B, and we'll first of all do AB which means we start with matrix A and we multiply it by matrix B. This will give us a two by two matrix like we practiced previously. So we'll do the first row multiplied by the first column. So two times three gives you six and four times one gives you four and then we add the six and four to get 10. We then stick with the first row but multiply by the second column. So two times one is two and four times two is eight and two add eight is also 10. We then move on to the second row with the first column. So one times three is three, five times one is five, and three add five is eight. And finally, the second row with the second column, one times one is one, and five times two is 10, and you add those together and you get 11. Now what if we reverse the order? This time we'll do B A. So we'll start with matrix B and multiply by matrix A. Again, this will give us a two by two matrix. So we'll do 3, 1 multiplied by 2, 1. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. And 6 add 1 gives you 7. Then 3, 1 multiplied by 4, 5. 3, 4 is a 12. 1, 5 is 5. Add 12 and 5, you get 17. Then 1, 2 times 2, 1. So we have 1 times 2, which is 2. And 2 times 1, which is also 2. So 2 add 2 is 4. And finally, 1, 2 with 4, 5. 1 times 4 is 4 and two fives are 10, four out of 10 is 14. You can see from this that the results of AB were not the same as BA, and this shows that matrix multiplication is in general not commutative. There will be some examples where this does work, but to be commutative it needs to apply to all cases. The final thing that the specification asks you to know is that matrix multiplication is associative. Now again, if you don't know what associative means, I'll show you with an example. If you take two times five times six, this gives you 60. Now you could do this by doing two times five first, which is 10, and then timesing that by six to get 60. Or you could do two, and then times that by five times six. Five times six is 30, so two times 30 is 60. Now this property does hold for matrices. So let's take some matrices A, B, and C, and we'll multiply them together, but in a different order. So we'll start with AB first, and then multiply that by C, so that's A, B, C, but because the A, B is in brackets, we'll multiply that bit first. If you multiply these two matrices, you'd end up with this, and we would take the result from that and multiply it by C, which is the final matrix, and that gets you this. Now if you did it slightly differently, you're still going to do A, B, C, but do the B, C first. So A, B, C, but this time you multiply the second two matrices. Now if you multiply those two matrices, you get another one that looks like this. So you would do A times this matrix, which also gets you this. Since these come out as the same result, we can see that matrix multiplication is associative. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Take a look at what I think you should watch next, subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos, and also check out the exam questions I've put in the description.